Hello guys and welcome to yet another balcony unboxing with a package from Lazada that we have here. So it's a fairly big package. We have in here my uh, scissors on our box on the balcony. Again, we're at the uh, seventh floor overlooking SM North right there. But yeah, it's gonna be hard because you know, we still don't have the table that uh, we ordered for our balcony. So I'm still like squatting basically on the floor. But yeah, I'm doing the best that I can here. I don't wanna unbox it, you know, when the when the table comes because I really, I'm really so excited with this thing. So first we just uh, hit it with the scissors on top very, very uh, quickly. So this package came from China. And again, it arrived uh, today. It's among you know the stuff that I that I bought. Uh, again, uh, addressed to my uh, fiance, and then we're gonna unbox it right now. So what is this? This is a fairly uh, uh, big uh, big uh, box right here, and you can uh, bet your bottom that's gonna be another video game related uh, item right here. So we just take the uh, plastic off, okay? The initial plastic off the of the top. And then there are, there's still like some styrofoam uh, surrounding it. We get this uh, masking tape right here. Boom! And right here, you can now see what it is. It is basically... So let me get the uh, styrofoam. So the box, again, there's like a handle. It reminds you of the 8-bit dough, you know, uh, package. But basically, as you can see, it's like a, a portable uh, with a screen, a 10-inch 10 10 -inch screen arcade uh, player and again it reminds me of the box reminds me of the uh, my arcade stick the 8-bit though you know with the handle and all so let's just open this very quickly you just uh, flip this so there are no informations at all you just see the pictures when it is closed when it's open on the side at the front okay and then you can see it has its own button and arcade stick so let's open this and then it can run basically games you know up to like a ps1 you know the usual and of course you see there the it has that, uh, its own styrofoam we take it out okay and then take the styrofoam from the side and what are the other stuff that we uh, see inside so we have uh, a cord which is a type c cord and some uh, manual with, which we don't really need but yeah the type c cord we do need it it has its own battery so you can you know take it with you if you want to do some uh, arcade gaming on the go but as you can see here it's a very nice this is called the pauki the a13 it's it's a matte red uh, finish I, I i i i really hope that they have another color but it only comes in red you know but it's it's fine so let me set aside the the box right here so that's basically the only content and when you open it <laughs> so you can see you have the screen you have the buttons very clicky it reminds me of the 8 bit though and then you're like oh where's the where's the stick where's the arcade control aha there's like a compartment here you take it out okay you open it. it's like a it's like a battery compartment or the things where you you keep stuff you know you just open it so we we make sure that we don't lose the compartment and then inside you basically have as you can see in there the arcade stick so you put the arcade stick here very carefully because like I said you know we're overlooking a seventh floor right here so if it falls you know yeah I have to pick it all the way down right so yeah so we tighten it and when it's tightened boom you now have a, a controller so you just have to you know make sure remind yourself that you know when 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 all is said and done you don't close it with a stick in there otherwise you break your screen but yeah there's like a, a screen overlay there I'm gonna remove that later on but yeah very very nice and then of course so that you don't have this uh, ridiculous hole right here you uh you you put the cover back so let's turn it on hopefully there's uh some battery left so you have there the power switch okay the power switch um usb so i can connect here the arcades 8-bit to arcade stick if i want to do some two-player action you have a 3.5 millimeter jack um the sd card where you can put your own backups of uh, games the type c where you charge it and then the power so let's uh, let me switch it on hopefully uh, it still has some battery left it does so it says welcome and you see here the video section you see so the, the cell my cell phone reflects on the uh, anyway but yeah you can see in there a very very nice uh, interface so it has history game so history game movies you can watch movies if you want but why you know you, you can do that on your tablet or on your phone this for gaming you have your file and then you have your settings let's uh, open a game let's see so there are some plastics here i'm gonna remove this uh, off camera but let's uh, go enter uh, some games so you have uh, cps fba you know the usual fc family computer gb uh which is uh which means uh 
Ah, that's so confusing. GB, which means uh, Game Boy, GBA, Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, uh, Mega Drive, Neo Geo, PlayStation, and then Super Famicom or Super, Super Famicom Computer. Yeah, so you, I, I can't imagine, you know, playing uh, uh, like a handheld here, but let's just try that. Let's do uh, Game Boy Advance because Game Boy Advance is basically my favorite uh, consoles out there. So you can see here, you know, the different, uh, different games. So for example, you have there Advance Wars, it's uh, built in. And then let me turn off, uh, turn down the volume so that we don't get uh, copyright, copyright strikes or anything. And as you can see, it works. So this is the EU version of uh, Advanced Wars. Let's go English. Yeah, the the, um, the the graphics is a bit soft because I believe they're using uh, a bilinear filtering. So hopefully we can change that in the, so in here you have your start, uh, select, uh, home button and then the volume up and the volume down and then you can you have here the rest of the button so you can you basically access your you know a b uh, x y and then your l r okay so you don't have l2 r2 for your uh, playstation but you can always put uh, uh, an external controller in there but as you can see you see it's like a game boy advance on a on a big screen so you can play it if you really lo love some uh, advanced wars 2 so as you can see there uh, advanced wars 2 very nice so press start again the start is here and then yeah you can basically you see control that with the analog stick very cool yeah so i think i'm gonna enjoy this thing um i'm still gonna study you know there's there's like an alternate uh, how do you say this alternate uh firmware for this as uh, a customized firmware called the uh, ruka there's like a team called the uh, ruka that that uh, that uh, makes a substitute alternate uh, firmware for the built-in one here so maybe i'm gonna flash a an sd card an external sd card that i have and then uh, put it here but basically yeah that's the that's, and then when you quit it's basically a a stripped down version of a retro arc when you go to the to the home menu when you press home menu so you can do you can save state load state and all the usual stuff you can start resume and then you you can quit you can quit the the retro art okay and so when you quit it it goes back to the uh, to the home okay and then uh, we go back we can choose some other stuff so uh, let's let's choose the most high end which is uh, presumably the playstation and then we can play we can select a game here so they have in here even secret of mana silent hill you know that would be weird to play here but uh, it's good it's there rachman x6 uh, uh contra evolution so i don't know some of these things yeah very few very few uh, PS1 games. They do have a uh, Tekken 3. Let's uh, start that very quickly. Because, you know, Tekken 3 slows down, but I I've seen Tekken 3 run uh, fine here. So, you know, from other YouTubers that uh, basically reviewed this thing. And as you can see, you have a uh, Tekken 3 right there. So, yeah, let's go uh, arcade mode. Okay. Um, all right. And then, yeah, you can select your uh, character. Let's go with my uh, favorite, uh, Warang. Okay. And then as you can see, I believe there's no there's there's uh, no lag, you know. Let's uh, try. Yeah, very very smooth. Yeah. So yeah, I, I hope I hope you can see it. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting murdered here. But you you, you see right there, there it's uh, very smooth. There's no lag. So and so you can imagine yourself, you know, playing this uh, handheld arcade. Very very awesome. And then you you pause it. Okay. And then once you're done, you remove this. Okay. You just remove this very, very, very straightforward. You remove the the arcade stick. You know, put it back in its housing, and then just I won't I won't put it back. So I'm gonna play with it. Just close it, and then you're done. Very cool, you know. I believe yeah the the screen, yeah the screen has a fairly average yeah on the side the 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 viewing angle is fine, but then up. Up, once you go downward yeah it's like it's like the, the image is gone you know I, I hope yeah you actually see I hope you can see it in the in the camera but side to side it's fine which is which is what you usually do if you have someone else playing with you so so it's, it's not a big issue but yeah the, the bottoms the bottoms themselves are very clicky not not as you know not as awesome as the 8-bit do at arcade stick that I unboxed before in one of my quarantine unboxings but yeah if, if you if you want to check that uh, do check it out but so far i think this is a very 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 awesome buy i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy this as for the battery life i'm not sure if you know if it will if it, if it will last a very long but i think i think it will it's like uh, i believe 4000 milliampere hours but yeah i just ko'd the uh, low right there but yeah thanks for watching guys i believe uh, that's it and how much was this i forgot the price was it like 4,000 or something I'm not really sure but I really want that's my first product from Pau Kiddy. the only thing that I really don't like about it yeah I, I I really hope that they had like a black it came in all black and then also like 
there should have they should have choose another color in here it shouldn't be red because you know the body is red so it, it, it blends right there and then you know the the label here it says pau kiddy it's not very pleasing to the eye you know it looks like a toy but it's a very awesome toy but anyway guys yeah that's it for the unboxing of the pau kiddy a13 you have the last look right there and uh if if you want you have you want to have a, an on-the-go arcade uh, gaming console check it out thanks for watching and bye bye